गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक डू ऑर्गेनिजम क्रिएट द एग्जैक्ट कॉपीज लेट मी कंप्लीट इवन इन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन डू ऑर्गेनिजम क्रिएट एग्जैक्ट कॉपीज इवन इन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ यू हैव लर्न येस बट ऑर्गेनिजम डू नॉट क्रिएट एग्जैक्ट कॉपीज इवन इन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन For example, the parental amoebal cell, after binary fission, produces two daughter amoebae. They are physically looking similar, but in the DNA, genetically, they are slightly different, not exactly similar. Today we are going to learn what is the reason for that. For that, you have to understand certain terms like. what is a chromosome what is the dna what is gene you don't have to learn all these terms in detail chromosome it's a greek word chroma means colored and soma means body colored bodies where are the chromosomes seen it is seen inside the nucleus chromosomes are seen inside the nucleus you might have heard about chromatin fibers what is the relationship between chromosome and chromatin fibers if a cell is not undergoing division in the nucleus of a cell which is at the resting stage not undergoing division if you observe the nucleus of such cell you will be able to see the genetic material is in the form of an entangled mass of fibers which catches the stain very brightly under an electron microscope scientists could see an entangled mass of genetic materials which is made up of dna and protein inside the nucleus of a cell which is not undergoing division in this stage they named it chromatin fibers chromatin fibers means colored thread this is the uh, unit of inheritance what happens to the chromatin fibers when the cell divides the cell undergoes division suppose this is a cell and it becomes two daughter cells in such cases what are the changes happening in the cell first of all the nuclear wall disappears that is the nucleoplasm mixes with the cytoplasm in this stage the chromatin fibers unfold and become shortened and condensed form which appears as colored rod shaped structures in this stage it is known as chromosome which means colored body in this stage of cell division the chromosomes in the cell can be counted scientists could count the number of chromosomes then they realized the number of chromosomes is constant or same among the members of the same species for example we the human being homo sapiens all homo sapiens have 46 chromosomes 46 chromosomes in all the cells of the body all the cells means the somatic cells somatic cells means except reproductive cells that is a sperm cell and the egg cell except sperm cell and the egg cell in the human body all somatic cells have 46 chromosomes for example if we you observe your skin cell muscle cell nerve cell or any cell other than the sperm cell in male and egg cell in female all other cells each cell of our body homo sapiens body cell possess 46 chromosomes each and every cell whereas in their sperm cell homo sapiens sperm cell half of the chromosomes only that is 46 uh, half that is 23 only in the sperm cell and egg cell also 23 you have learned in smaller classes why the uh, gametes are made half in number 
so that after fertilization the zygote will have 23 plus 23 46 the full set this is how the chromosome number is maintained constant generation after generation so this all you have already learned in smaller classes so today we have seen the meaning of chromosome and chromatin fibers chromatin fibers and chromosomes both are chemically same both of them are made up of dna and protein chromatin fibers you will be able to see as an entangled mass of fibers in the nucleus when the cell is not undergoing division but when the cell undergoes division you will be able to see the chromatin fibers in condensed to form rod shaped structures separated from each other scattered in the cytoplasm this stage these rod shaped structures are called chromosomes the number of chromosomes are constant in each species that is the reason the members of the same species look similar all homo sapiens whether they are americans or indians they look same even though slight changes are there but they are uh, keeping the similar body designs and same feeding habit habitat and they are able to breed among themselves reproduce among themselves and produce a young one who is also able to reproduce fertile offsprings are produced so i think you are very much clear about the terms chromosome and chromatin fibers now let us move towards the genes for learning dna and genes first of all you should understand what is the structure of a chromosome let me show you the structure the ribbon shaped chromosome is represented like this this is one chromosome these are the arms of chromosome arms one chromosome has two arms or chromatids of course these terms are not there in your ncrt book arms of the chromosomes or chromatids this is the centromere centromere now where is the dna seen in the chromosome dna molecule is seen as a double helical strand in the arms of the chromosomes you can see the dna molecule like this this is the dna molecule DNA molecule is seen as a double stranded structure like this. This is a DNA molecule, a complex molecule. This structure is formed by Watson and Crick. They have got Nobel Prize for this. The DNA strand, there are you can see two strands are there. See, this is how one DNA molecule is seen in a chromosome. So from this you understand deoxyribonucleic acid DNA is present in the chromosome. Okay. Now what is the difference between DNA and gene? Are they exactly same? Again look at the DNA strand. In the DNA molecule the whole length of the DNA molecule is not functional. Segments of DNA molecules some segments are only functional these functional segments or parts of the dna molecule is known as gene so gene is nothing but dna molecule only the entire length of the molecule is not functioning some are junk dna but their presence is needed for the working of the gene so what is gene the functional segments of dna molecule functional segments of the dna strand is called gene so this is how dna gene chromosome and chromatin fibers all are related you should clear all these terms then only you will be able to understand uh, dna replication that we will be dealing in the next video thank you